Well, th- this is you know, Metro is run by a centipede of uh, of legs, and one more leg is the Congress, uh, the Republicans. Hard to in the get House. to that. It's the New World Order on Capitol Hill right now. Republicans now in control. House threatening to cut back on all kinds of federal spending, but right. pick it up. Tom. Right. You know, you, you reach that terrific agreement where each of the jurisdictions would put in fifty million dollars a year, and the con- the feds would put in one hundred and fifty million. You'd have three hundred million to help fix the system, but now. There's talk about cutting out some of these federal dollars. Who on Metro has the power to go up to the on the House side and, and you know get them right with the system? Well, certainly that's a responsibility that all of us have. We we do have our own government relations organization within Metro reporting to the general manager and and CEO, and that is one of their responsibilities. But that doesn't mean that those people on the board, and there are many of us who do have that capability, who do interact with various members of Congress, shouldn't be talking to those people and trying to get their assistance. And as you point out, Tom, uh, not only is the $150 million dollars that we just recently started to get from the federal government at stake because if you go back to the 2008 levels of appropriations that 150 million wasn't there but all of the money that goes around the country for public transportation is at stake not maybe every penny of it but a cutback on that can severely affect not only us but other transit agencies and you all know how hard we have to work right now in rehabilitating our 34 year old rail system if we don't get that money both safety and rehabilitation will in fact be at stake